friends, don't worry about that. I've only been on about 30 seconds. In case you're worried, oh, did we miss the big, the big fun? I'm slightly worried the fact that I left stairs at the front here. I'll have to get them removed for tomorrow. Yeah, please, please no, no, please, feel free to sit on those stairs as if we're some sort of depressed woman at a shit student party. <laughs> Why not? Why not sit on there and just whinge as everyone's trying to get to the toilet? Please, Daddy, love me! And excuse me, love, can I just get over here? I do enjoy an emotional obstacle course. <laughs> the, uh, there's, there's nothing I like more than faulting a crying woman. The, uh, what the hell? Sorry, that sounded wrong, didn't it? <laughs> so early. The, are you right up in the balcony, by the way? Yeah! yeah! Look at you, feeling very smug. Oh, yeah! Listen to that. There's everyone went, yeah! And then one bloke went, oh, yeah! <laughs> the, uh, yeah! Oh, he's off again. <laughs> Is that being used to Gray's livestock by any chance? Just a tiny lamb up there. Going, wah, wah, wah. I forgot to mention that the whole of the downstairs area, that's all for you to watch the show, and then upstairs, they're having a sheepdog trial. <laughs> so, yeah, it might be slightly confusing at points. You might just hear whistles, and they're going, wah, wah, wah. And at one point, one of the things they have to do is, at a normal sheepdog trial, they have to get all the sheep into a small pen. Whereas this one, because it's more of a rock and roll sheep trial, they have to get them down to the front of the balcony, and then they have to sort of get the lambs to just chop themselves off <laughs> in, a, in a kind of rock and roll stage dive type fashion. And then, so if at any point a lamb should fall on you, you can have that as a gift. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> There you go. What a great, what a great, there's not many shows you go to where you can enjoy yourself, have a laugh, and then any fallen livestock can be taken away. <laughs> Thanks very much. That's been about a lovely evening. The, uh, I don't want you lot requesting shit either. Don't sh shout enough, can I have a pig? Because <laughs> uh, I'm essentially uh, lying about this. And, uh, <laughs> Looking at you people up there, the excitement in you, you know, the way that you, yeah, I've got a feeling that you're able to please. And you look down and go, shit, they're asking for pigs, what are we going to do? <laughs> and then somebody go, I'm quite small and I've put on a few pounds. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, you do have a slight, look at that woman running, running away. Look at her, I'm joking. So, <laughs> some of this stuff's risky and I can't sit here, I've got to be over here. Throw me a pig! Throw me a pig! It's not a pig! You've been fooled! You've been tricked! It's just someone with a turned up nose! Who's been eating pies for too long! You're essentially gonna get the shaven fat dwarf thrown from the top there! Yeah, I'll chop me off! You look like a pig! What are you doing? Hey! Where the hell did that woman run off to in such a. I've never seen such a thing in all my life. That's the first time somebody's just gone straight to that big <laughs> Oh, and she's back. She's found herself a man. <laughs> the Lord. Go well, down. That's magnificent. You're not mucking around, are you? Did you, were you just, I presume you know this gentleman and you're reading him outside. You were just sat there just thinking, just getting a bit horny, you know. <laughs> and then something happened, like I don't know how it works, you know. Your spidey senses started tingling, you know. Or you, or you just, all of a sudden, you just came on heat. You were just, you were just sat there with stood to your feet. Like, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> But I can't believe he's not carrying up with that. He was just strolling past the venue of the evening. You know, he's uh, for all that, quite a smart gentleman, you know, because there's a few homeless people outside there. That's a, it's a hell of a bonus for them if they hadn't have been walking past, you know. He's just strolling by like that all of a sudden. Ah! You do come! On. That's a shock for the homeless, isn't it? You know? Spare some money for a cup of tea. Never mind that, you're coming with me. <laughs> ah, what are you doing, horny lady? <laughs> you're just my type. I go for the I go for the unwilling homeless. <laughs> <laughs> what the? If you're in like one of those smaller 
much just for a, you know, when it says, you know, must have good sense of you. What are you looking for? You know, people always go, oh, no smoke, uh, uh, you know, long walks in the country, just right. Unwilling homeless. <laughs> and, uh, so, you know, the, uh, I thought to, I thought to put like a really specific advert in one of those bits, you know, like a kind of uh, uh, looking for man seeking uh, busty Chinese uh, retro Swiss um, <laughs> Jewish cop. <laughs> See what you got. Anyway, the um, no. So wait, so is this your, your boyfriend or husband or <coughs> husband? There we go. Right. Mean, does he know this yet or? <laughs> I'm a what? Yes, you are. Shut up. <laughs> I grabbed you and dragged you into a venue round here like me for a man. <laughs> the, uh, the speed that you went out there, I've never, I've never seen somebody move at such a speed. You want to be careful. This is quite a heavily carpeted venue, you know. <laughs> that could have created static electricity as you head <laughs> I'm surprised he wasn't standing here. Well, where is she with me ticket? And you would be a... <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, sent thousands of volts to him, you know. He's coming in on <laughs> What the hell just happened there? I was just I was standing in the street and then I was electrotized. Electrotized? Is that even a word? Yes, it is. It's like electrocuted and magnetized, but put together. I was electrotized. The, uh, but anyway, well done for your speedy exit. The, uh, what's your name? <laughs> That's good. What are you? <laughs> are you a Wookie? <laughs> God, you wouldn't want to be a Wookie and have the power to on one of these carpets. <laughs> So sorry, yes, your name. <laughs> you sound a bit like the taxi driver. I, I always forget, every time I come here, I forget how fucked up your taxi drivers are. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like every, it's like every single time, if there's something else, it's, you know, and I'm, it's, it's, it never ceases to amaze. The guy that I had tonight, he's driving me here, and he was, I, I, he was like clearing his throat, but coughing at the same time. And he was, he was getting, he's just, he's making this noise. Mm, 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 mm. Like he had a bass function to it, you know? <laughs> so I Good. What? He went, no. <laughs> I felt like I should come in with it. <laughs> that, that was trying to make that sound like a record there. It sounded like, it sounded like a retarded duck, unfortunately. There's, there's me trying to be all cool and that. I do apologise. <laughs> Sorry, yes, your name. Amy, hello there, Amy. That's quite a step from... <laughs> the, uh, at first it sounded like a train disappearing. <laughs> the, uh, hi, Amy, and what's your fellas name there? Sam. Sam, Amy and Sam, hello there. And uh, so what was the score that he was waiting for the tickets, was he? he was, oh, I see. And where have you come from, Sam, if you didn't travel together? Or did you leave the house at the same time? Oh, she was too fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the same 